Thank you, Melissa. It's Faith Time, our weekly conversation on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is Father Chris Booten with St. Dominic Catholic Church in Mobile. Thank you so very much for getting up on this cold Sunday morning for us. Chad, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. We're talking about something that I think a lot of churches will be talking about or at least touching on this morning, the Epiphany. And for the people that don't know, what is the story of Epiphany? Of course, the story of Epiphany comes from uh, our, uh, the Gospel of Matthew, where it's uh, very traditional, the, uh, the visit of the wise men from the east, uh, as they're called. Uh, they come, they pay their homage to, to the newborn king of Israel, bringing the three gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Now we call it epiphany, and epiphany is also another word for when somebody says, aha, I've realized something. What is uh, the proper definition, or why do we use that term to describe uh, this event? I think you, you, you aha, that's, that is probably the proper term for it. Uh, you know, it's uh, uh, that time where Christ, the revelation is made known to the nations, to the Gentiles, that the newborn king of Israel will also be the, the king, the king uh, of the ages, king of the world uh, in Jesus Christ. And that revelation is made known. That's why we celebrate this day. That's why the church, um, since the ancient times, is, has very closely tied this, this date with, with Christmas, with Christ's baptism, uh, and also... Um, uh, Christmas, Christ's baptism, and, and it's very, all of this is tied as, as, as Jesus is made known to the world. And when we talk about uh, the timeline of this visit by the three wise men or the Magi, where does it really fall in, in that timeline? Does it fall shortly after Jesus' birth, or is there still kind of some debate on that? We, we, know, we know it's shortly after Jesus' birth. Um, you know, the gospel tells us that that uh, he was with his mother and 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 Joseph and the family and um, and uh, so it's shortly after his birth and uh, they're of course found in a home uh, very very much in poverty uh, so it would been it would have been a great surprise for them uh, also to travel this distance to to pay homage to a king and to see him born in such meager circumstances and these three wise men there's not a lot written about them but what do we know about them? Uh, they were very educated men, likely. They, they, of course, they come from a different culture. Um, they are typically it's translated from the Greek, the Magi, as as magicians. More likely, they're astrologers. They study the stars. They study the skies. They they look for for God's presence in their culture by the by the by the signs of the stars. Uh, and, and of course, they received the sign that something. Uh, important had happened from the stars, and that's why you, see, you read in the Gospels that they follow the star to to the newborn king of Israel. In Orthodox churches, Epiphany is considered the twelfth day of Christmas. How is it uh, observed in Eastern and maybe even Western churches? Uh, you, you mentioned it. Twelfth, this the twelfth day of Christmas is typically celebrated on January sixth. You, you know, in the very much in Eastern Christianity, Eastern Eastern Rite Catholicism, Eastern Orthodox churches. Uh, it, it is still celebrated on January 6th. Uh, it's typically the day that, that gifts are exchanged. Uh, you know, that's to coincide with the Magi's gifts to, to Christ. Uh, we're just a little impatient in America. We <laughs> celebrate everything on Christmas. We have to open gifts then. But typically, in much, much of the world, this is the day. Uh, it's just equally as important as Christmas Day. And, uh, of course, what is the bigger message that you think people should come away with with this lesson today? And if you had to summarize it in one sentence. If I had one sentence, give your best to Christ. Uh, the Magi travel long distance to, to pay homage to the king. They brought their best, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I think that's the important message for, uh, for people of faith or Christians. When you come to Christ, bring your best. Talking about the Epiphany this morning with Father Chris Booten of St. Dominic Catholic Church. Thank you so very much for joining us, sir. And News 5 this morning will continue after the break.